Meanwhile, city leaders in North Tonawanda may get another earful tonight as residents show up for a demonstration next hour before the council meets. They are upset about what they say are higher noise levels from a cryptocurrency mining facility that's near their homes. Channel 2's Ron Plant spoke today with the mayor who's looking for solutions with the new Canadian company that's running the operation. Residents living near the Fortistar power production plant on Erie Avenue in North Tonawanda have been speaking out about what they're hearing ever since a Canadian company called DigiHost started running what's called a cryptocurrency or Bitcoin mining facility at that location. Some in a security camera video comparing it to the loud whine of a jet engine as they explained to Channel 2's Rob Hackford. It's kind of a, a whistling, like a howling noise. You know, I guess the way the thing was like a jet engine running. That noise is apparently coming from linked powerful computers, which do the digital mining work and their cooling fans. So now it's front and center for the members of the council and the new mayor. As DigiHost runs through these tests over the next few weeks, um, they're, they're really testing the sound piece. They're working with engineers to figure out how we can deal with the acoustics, and how we can make residents happy in the end. Not everyone's happy. There's a lawsuit in Niagara County Court, which will be up for oral arguments tomorrow, filed by some residents seeking relief and challenging the city's approval process from last year. There is potential that there's an injunction put in place by the judge tomorrow, and it, it'll change the direction of this company. Mayor Tylek stresses the company is trying to work with the city. The biggest point again is that they're willing to. It, they might not necessarily have to based on our current decibel ordinances, right? Our noise ordinance in regards to what decibel level they're at. But the, the fact that they're, they're trying to be a good neighbor. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.